My name is Brian Costello, and I am queued up to learn. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Queued Up. So excited to be here today with my good friend, Brian Costello. Brian, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, Sarah. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here. Awesome to have you. So, you know the drill. We have three questions for you, okay? So, the first question is... Uh, so I'm just excited about the the possibility um, that's that's available uh, in education. You know, it, it's almost like if you can dream up something, that then you can then you can do it, and kids can do it, and kids have so many more avenues for access to to try out different things. Um, and the more the more we get kids access, is something I've always believed is the more access to technology and to ideas and to um, and to each other that we give them, the more incredible things they're going to create in the future. And I think you just start to see that more and more um, because of the, the pace at which things come to, tech, to, uh, to education now. Absolutely. I couldn't agree with you more. Like, I, I, I really do feel that, you know, giving kids the access to do things and, uh, and you know, giving them the opportunities to do things, um, you know, they'll definitely take that and run with it. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Cool. All right. So the second question I have for you. Um, so as you already know, I've been working on a book for way too long. Um, it's a lot harder to write than I thought it would be, not because I don't have lots to write, but because I have two small children. So it's hard to find the times to, to write. And when I thought I'd be able to write, I'm actually just way too tired to form a sentence. So, um, but I'm getting close to being finished the, the first manuscript draft and I'm super excited. It's all about um, basically professional growth from the time you're at, the time you're beginning starting to think about teaching to the time you you know, reach that master level of teaching and what takes place over that course of time and how do we figure out how the, the whole journey works um, and how do, we, how do we help each other move from place to place and how do we build a culture that's within our, within our profession that really focuses on um, bringing each other up and, and making each other better. And I'm just really excited to, to actually be close to finishing that because it's something I've wanted to write for a few years and um, you know, I've actually been writing for almost a year. So uh, really excited to, to come close to finishing that first script and, and start hopefully get it out to people before the end of this year. Definitely. You know. I'm super excited for you. Like that, I know that that has been a passion project of yours that you have devoted a lot of energy into. So I'm excited to see that come out as well. So congrats to you and congrats Definitely. on the new baby. Thank you. Oh yeah. Thank you. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. All right. So the third question I have for you is... Um, it's the advice I got from my good friend, Art Laflamme, which is collect good people. Um, you can't, you can't have enough good people in your life. Um, and you might say, well, I don't have time for all these people. I don't have time for as many people as I you know, would like. That's true. But keep those people around you. Keep those people in your, you know, within your, within your thoughts or within your mind or somewhere within connection with you so that you always have people around that can help lift you up, that can help find a way to make you better, that you can help make better. Um, because that's what's going to make you better, not just as a teacher, but as a person. And, you know, to keep those good people with you throughout your life, you know, people who are there to, who can help you, people who can make you better, or that you can make better, keep them around you, keep them within your, um, you know, within your network, within your collection of people, so that, you know, whenever they need you or you need them, they can they can call upon you, you can call upon them, and it can make a difference in your life. So I couldn't agree more. That is just fantastic advice, and uh, I'm glad that you're sharing that with our viewers. So thank you so much, Brian, for joining us today on Queued Up. It was a pleasure to have you. Pleasure being here, of course. Thanks so much, Sarah, for having me, and uh, yeah, it's exciting. I can't wait to see uh, can't wait to see after you've edited all the craziness and uh, shared all the bloopers with everybody. Absolutely, and I can't wait either. <laughs> <clears throat> there we go. <laughs>
Oh, we're recording. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's all good. I can edit it all out. <laughs> all oh, right. It's okay. You don't have to.